The Health Span Let Performer of the Week for the All Blacks. Let's change it to a positive out of the weekend. You selected three. Here are your choices. The Health Span Elite Performer of the Week, Richie Moanga, Dane Coles, Finlay Christie. I found this a surprise. JK, Richie Moanga has 47.6% of the votes. Are we being overcritical? Did we judge his performance maybe on the overall performance of the All Blacks? Or did we just take votes from Canterbury? <laughs> is that a possibility? <laughs> No that one, is possible. No, no one else voted. That is possible. Um, you know, I, I, for me, Dane Coles was outstanding. And he was outstanding because in moments under pressure, he changed the game. So he was always going to get the most points. So I was a little bit shocked. I think, um, you know, I think, I think Richie played well, right, from a game point of view. But what we were looking for, I think, from a tactical point of view, Mills, was for him to change the game plan, mm. which we didn't see happen. He might have, but from, from a distance. So I was always, I always thought Dane was way better. Yeah, a dominant performance, I think, is what we're after. I mean, but this is what Dane Coles did. He provided that. He was, uh, you got around the park, and more importantly, his, his key roles. I mean, you got to remember, he's had limited sort of playing time as well, given that, that those, uh, the calf injury that he's had. But when it came to lineouts, you know, hit his lineouts, lineout drives when they needed it, and and man, they did need it because they had no points. You know, he he screwed it out and just scored a couple of nice nice tries. So in terms of his whole leadership um, and his core, core role, he was he was quite outstanding. I love it when he focuses his anger into playing well, because his frustration came out the fact that he led. He led by the fact that they were making so many errors. That was the most impressive part for me, was the low error weight. Considering the number of errors that All Blacks were making, All Blacks were making, he didn't contribute to that. Does he put himself then, after that performance in the selection debate going forward, to the next Test match against Ireland? Remembering oh. they've got high hopes and he's been playing well in the likes of Samasoni Tokiaho. Against Ireland, no debate. He is on the bench. No debate. Who do you want coming on late? I want him coming on late. If he's fit, you see the acceleration he did from that mall? And those other guys, I mean, we have... Uh, four really good We've ones. got four amazing, and these young men that have come in, <laughs> they can be incredibly proud. But Ireland, over there, Aviva Stadium, I want my best heads out there. And I'd just put him... He'd be first on the bench. Yeah, and you, you know, you've seen that as well with, with the, the influence that Sam Whitelock had when he when he came off the bench. I mean, he's he's been managed well as Dane Coles. You know, he's now back to his, his best. They took him off uh, relatively early in that, in that second half to, to give him that sort of break. So I, I agree. I think he's on the bench too.